choose numbers with a particular difference. Using only these numbers, complete the following equation. Something minus something equals eight. So we know that our number right here, our total is gonna be the largest. So we can look at these larger numbers. If I start with the larger number being 11, is 11 minus something equal eight? Well, 11 minus eight equals three. So do we see any of these numbers equal three? Nope, so then we kind of know it can't start with 11. So let's start with 10. 10 minus something equals eight. Well, if we do 10 minus eight, well, 10 minus eight equals two. Is two up here? Aha, uh -huh, it is. So 10 minus two equals eight. So four we wouldn't use. We're just gonna use our 10 minus two. Using only these numbers, complete the equation. So we have something minus something equals 17. So we know that this number right here is going to be our largest number. So our larger numbers. Well, we know off the bat it can't be 15 in our largest number. So let's start with 48. So we can look at it this way. We can switch it around and just look at 48 minus 17. Well, 48 minus 17 equals 31. So is 31 an option? It's not. So 48 cannot be our starter number. So let's erase that. We know it can't be 48, so let's start with 32. So we can switch around the order of these two. So now we can do 32, 32 minus 17. Well, let's see if we can figure out 32 minus 17 equals 15. So then we know we can switch this back around as 32 minus 15 equals 17. Are 15 and 32 both on here? They are. So. 32 minus 15 is 17. Blank minus blank equals 11. So we know that we need to start with our larger numbers for our total. So we know four we can't start with. So we can start with nine, or 19, I'm sorry. 19 minus something equals 11. We could also rearrange it and say 19 minus 11. Well, 19 minus 11 equals eight. Is there an eight up here? There's not, so 19 cannot be correct. So now let's start with 12. Well, if we start with 12, so if we start with 12 minus 11 equals what? Well, 12 minus 11 equals one, so it's one up there. Well, we know then that we can't start with 12, so now let's try starting with 23. Well, 23 minus something equals 11, so 23 minus 11. Well, 23 minus 11 equals 12. So are 23 and 12 up there? They are, so we can say 23 minus 12. Using all the, these number, which of these two have a difference of 12? So we're looking at something minus something equals 12. So which of these two numbers subtracting gives us 12? Well, I know 43 minus three is 40, and 43 minus 31 is 12. So 43 minus 31 equals 12. Which of these two, using only these numbers, have a difference of three? So something minus something equals three. So which of these numbers are only three apart? Well, 27, you could go down three which would get you to 24, I don't see 24, or up three, which would get you to 30, so that's not on there. 49, we could go down three to 46, which is not on here, or up three to 52. 39, we could go down three to 36, or up three to 42, oh, well there's 42, so 42 minus 39. Using only these numbers, which two have a difference of four? So we wanna look at which ones have a difference of four. So 31, we can go up four, which is 35, or down four, which is 27. I don't see either one of those up here. Seven, we can go up four to 11, or down four to three. Well look, there's three, so seven and three. 
using only these numbers, which ones have a difference of six? So if I have three, I can go up six to nine. I can't go down six. So three and six, well, that's up there. So three and nine have a difference of six. Using only these numbers, which two have a difference of 23? So something minus something equals 23. So we know that our number here needs to be the larger of the numbers of the three. So let's start with our highest one here. Let's start with 39. So if we have 39 and we wanna take away 23, we are left with 16. Is 16 up there? Ah, yes it is, we got lucky with our first try. So 39 and 16 would be our numbers. Using only these numbers, which ones have a difference of 13? So something minus something equals 13. So let's start with our higher of our higher numbers. We can start with, four, let's start with 41, that's, hard, that's higher. So 41 minus something equals 13. Well, let's do 41 minus 13, which we would get 28. So do we see 28 up there? We don't, so we know 41's not the case. So now let's start with our next highest, which is 15. 15 minus something equals 13, or 15 minus 13 equals two. Is two up there? It is, so 15 and two are our numbers. Using only these numbers, which two have a difference of three? Well, because we're only going to three, let's look at 38. Let's go down three, 35, I don't see that. Up three, 41, that's not up there. So 12, let's go down three to nine. That's not up there. Let's go up three to 15. I see it, so 12 and 15. Super job.